please. Please help me. I need water. I'm dying. You mean... You don't want anything for it? I don't have any caps or anything. I can just have... I can just have it for free? Really? Seriously? Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. You've helped me so much. It seems wrong to ask, but can you spare any more water? But please, if you find some, please. Thirsty partner, have yourself a nice visit, partner. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Sure thing. What's on your mind? What about it? It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades, been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful.
Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. What do you want to know? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in the plaza at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the Brass Lantern. Sure, head over to Moriarty's for spirits, or if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. All right, shoot. Don't fool around with that bomb, unless you know what you're doing. Junk is my business. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. 
Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Okay, so where'd you like to start? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? So, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that Super Duper Mart? No, no, not all right. Every day you don't help with this research is another day people might die. And I can't write without good research or else people might follow bad info and die anyway. So get to work. Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <gasps> Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Sure thing. I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Sure thing.
Good hunting. See ya. I got my eye on you. I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. God bless the USA and nowhere else. Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Now there's a proud patriot. After all, if they could do us wrong, we wouldn't have elected them in the first place, right? Yes, sir. Trust in the judgment of other people to know what's best for me. It's the American way. They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a weaver. The more perfect union. God bless the Enclave. Junk is my business. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing him. Hi. Hey there. Where's that wife of mine got to anyway? Take care. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She's different. Look, I don't want to be rude, but I don't trust strangers. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. Right. Try to be careful.
What? No! Go away! There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall ex- Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. It's no longer. It shall be washed away. I ain't heard much, flow. truth be told. Burn I don't really ever leave the lantern. The Too brain. much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Have a good one, stranger. Each of us. I came to this place looking for water, but they're only the selling to residents. Hoo-wee! Look at you! Now, I haven't seen one of those vault jumpsuits in, wow, a long time. Pretty damn good condition, too. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed, in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people. And strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Easy, man. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Each of us Look, shall know peace, I don't want to be rude, shall know an end to but I don't pain, trust strangers. and shall know Atom in his glory. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. In each our own way, we are all lost. Where would you like to be, brother? What do you wish to discuss? Yes, what would you like to know? 
The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact, and the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. As you wish. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Bless you, child. Very well. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us, the bomb is Atom, and thus we are Atom awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. Rays shower you, child. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey there. Behold. Hello. Pull up a chair if you want. Why don't you look where you're going? Well, goddamn. You're new, right? I've got to admit. The outfit's a little weird, but that's okay. That's okay. Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way.
No problem, buddy. Sure thing, my man. See you soon. Pull up a chair if you want. Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the atom and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of atom, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. For those answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. I'm not one to gossip, but I do know a few things. For instance, did you hear that Lucas wants someone to disarm our bomb? Imagine the blasphemy. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't believe it. He would never do that to us. Farewell, sweet child. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Maybe we... Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. Yeah, catch you later. We can and talk behold later, okay? the power of Atom. Let those who dwell here in his favored land Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Long ago, before the war, they used to be machines. They were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk, you just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. 
when the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms, and when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Some of us wanted to. But the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Sure thing, hon. Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Well, the raiders for one. Once the town got big enough, They'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really helped keep the wolves at bay. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while, that's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. If you say so, honey. I was born here, actually, just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland has worked for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well, let's just say that men can change. I hope. Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. 
Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? Well, you come on back any time you want to hear more. There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. Come back if you need something, honey. Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put into that head of yours. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mum. Truly. But, no matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Daddy's gone, and you need to know why. Could be I know where and why. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the Overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own Deputy Weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm gonna help you out. For old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me, 
Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Ah, a little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. You want something? Leave me alone. Ah, come on, you piece of junk. Every day. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke, and you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. As you wish, I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. No, no, I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Traveler, eh? Damn thing. Oh, look. Another one of your pampered vault assholes. Look here, vault asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Nah, yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. None of your fucking business. Well now, that's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now what did you want to know? This again. Okay, I'll play along. Back out where? Why the fuck would you start saying it if you weren't gonna finish? Back out where? What are you talking about? You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. 
Nah. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. I've said just about all I'm gonna say about that. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the Raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Whoa, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it. If you can. My Robin days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. Anytime, it'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. Come back if you need something. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. I... Oh... Go... Oh. Fuck! Come on! Stupid radio. Wait. Just give it up, Leave Bob. me I'm not alone. Going to get anything. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. <laughs> yeah, that's Colin style, all right. He sells information so much, you'd think the bar was just a hobby. Who, Gob? <laughs> well... If you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. 
The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Take care of yourself, hun. Miss West. Hi. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. That's his way. Always putting caps before people's lives. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh my. I shouldn't be saying all of this. I'm sorry, I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved, I'm so sorry. Come back soon. Don't look at me like that. Looking for the rest of the cost, yeah. Hello, Nova. Hey, Jericho. Hello there, honey. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. What? Hey. Me? Why? Look. Leave me don't alone. Give me any of your shit. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see, there's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Now tell me something. This better be in park. You're lying. I'm a I'll busy know. man. Are you working with the Raiders? You a scout. Mr. Moriarty. Later. Hello to you. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Got something on your mind? What's the matter? Never seen a ghoul before?
your vessel, guide me to your brilliance, divide each particle, and give relief to the... Yeah, you need something? Even those who are not dedicated children of Adam may bask in his glow. The Confessor is truly the Chosen of Adam. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Maybe we can talk later, okay? Um, bestow your presence on your unworthy hey. servant. We stay true until Good to the see you. division. Until the dawn I came to this place return. looking for water, but they're only selling to residents. Evening. Should have stayed in Rivet City. Travel through the wasteland for this place. I don't want any trouble. 